Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV Today. We are doing a demo and a little bit of a tutorial on how to set the lane position in the ID4 when using Travel Assist. Let's get into it. A kind of hidden feature that isn't well advertised uh, with the ID4 is its ability to lock into a lane position when using Travel Assist. And it actually is a pretty easy um, process. Uh, but why would you want to do it anyways? Well, you know, um, some people just have their comfort, so they like to be in the center of the lane, me. Some people like to be more to the left, some people like to be more to the right. And then there's other more, you know, practical, functional uh, times where maybe you're driving on a highway and there's a jersey wall that's really close to the lane and you don't want to be that close, so you can lock it in the center or lock it in the far right. Uh, additionally, maybe you're driving on 70 or some other road that has a lot of tractor trailers and they tend to be in the right lane, you could lock it into the left, uh, sorry, they tend to be on the, to the right of the left lane, you could lock it more to the left of the, um, the left lane and then you'll be a little bit away from them, a safer distance uh, when you're traveling. So it's definitely um, a practical uh, feature uh, that I think you want to know about. So it's really, really simple. When you turn travel assist on, all you do is you pull yourself over to the side of the lane you want to be in. You'll feel it fight you a little bit and then it will kind of ease off and you can feel it in the, uh, the steering wheel and then it's locked. That's it. That's all you have to do. Right now I'm locked in the left lane. I'm going to uh, go ahead, unlock it. I'm going to move over to the right side of the lane. Just hold it. You kind of feel it fight you because it wants to pull you back to the center and then there we go. I'm locked on the right side of the lane. So super easy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the camera around so you all can kind of see what it looks like and then uh, that'll kind of be it for this video. All right, everybody. So here we are. I flipped the camera around. Hopefully you can see it. If not, um, just you can imagine it. But right now I have a travel assist on and I am locked in the center lane. Obviously you have to keep your hand on the steering wheel. You can't not have your hand on the steering wheel. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock it in the far left position. Or for those of you who remember from uh, driver's ed lane position two, I believe lane position two, I'm going to let this car pass. And here I go. I'm going to just pull it over. I feel the steering wheel fight me a little bit and then it kind of relaxes. And now I'm locked into the far left of the lane, lane position two. So super easy. It takes about, I don't know, it's maybe like a second or maybe two seconds. Uh, now I do prefer to be in the center lane, so I'm gonna pull it back into the center lane. I feel it fight a little bit and then it's locked. So that's pretty quick. You can look at the, the, the timestamp if you want. And then of course there's a, a stoplight. <laughs> All right, uh, now that we're away from that stoplight, I did wanna just do the um, the other lane position in the right lane. So again, I'm pulling it over to the right lane. I feel it fight me. And then it just kind of relaxes and I'm locked in the far right lane. So again, a super cool feature with lots of uh, great practical uses and safety uses when driving on road trips or just your uh, average day commuting. All right, everybody. Well, that is it for today's video. Again, this ability to lock in lane position, I think is extremely helpful. And I hope you all found this uh, video helpful. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the ID4, please leave it down in the comments below and that will help influence my future content for you all. Again, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will catch you all next time.